broke down not broke down but it's broke um, I'll have a video coming up on that shortly um, it's just minor you know easy stuff uh, that happens you know whether you're in a pickup or a dually it doesn't matter but right now we're gonna talk about the dually so what's up with the dually where am I at with the dually uh, what do I think about the dually um, you know all that good stuff so Personally, I am glad I'm out of the dually. Really, really glad. Um, hold on. Pull it down. Go. So, I am glad I'm out of the dually. Um, I'm enjoying what's going on. And now a lot of people say, well, do you wish you'd have done it sooner? Um, or, you know, do you... Do you regret not buying it sooner? My whole philosophy is life is a process. Uh, it's a process, not an event. So, no, I shouldn't have done it sooner. Um, I needed to buy that for a reason. Don't ask me what the reason was. Um, whether it's to show you guys how bad it was. Whether it's to, to show me that it's really not that good. Um, in a new truck and that I was correct with the warranties being trash um, You know what I know what he wants hold on There you go, go ahead lay down um, You know so that's you know it is what it is and unfortunately that a lot of people look at what I say you know what I do and like my videos and they always want to find a reason why it's someone else's fault, right? Which is fine. It's my fault the truck blew because I hauled too much weight. Because I had a five car. Because I idled it. Because I was over the road. But you know the truth of the matter? There's people with three car wedges. The truck's trash. Um, I know truck 6,000 miles done. 21,000 miles done picking up a load right now for a subscriber um, You know that I, I've talked to off and on helped him a couple times all this and that but uh He's got a truck 21,000 miles it, Motors done so now I'm repowering his load uh, You know so it's it, it happens, you know all trucks break just to leave fellas so uh you know it happens like that that's part of it they do break now so what sets people sets these companies and all that apart is not the breakdowns it's the repairs that set them apart it's the customer service it's the reliability it's the appreciation of the customer it's them showing you they care which I can tell you right now, wholeheartedly, my feelings, Ram doesn't care. They don't care. They want to sell a truck, and they want you to pay for their research and development. Like, when Detroit did their uh, DD-15, the rebuild, they, they researched and did all that in that truck, that was the most expensive motor researched ever. I mean, I think it was like in the billions. I may have been wrong, but it was the most expensive. Cummins, such a long name, such so much money that they could have and should have done that. But they're like, no, we got a good name. We're going to live off the name. 
we're gonna live off the name, we're gonna see what happens. And guess what? They're ruining their name. So Cummins wants to live off the name. They're trying to live off the name, which to each their own, you know? But uh unfortunately for us and them, they're uh taking advantage of business owners and costing their same their self name and reputation. So uh I'll never buy another Ram truck, just me personally. Um, now, I'll still drive Elvira because I love that truck. I really love that truck. Um, but there, there won't be another, like, new one that comes into the fleet or whatever. So, now let's talk about what happened with mine. So, apparently, these trucks, some of them have three recalls. Some of them have two. Um, my truck happens to be the one with three. So, what, um, what they're saying the deal was, is the, um, there's, they say there's 252 trucks that have, um, bad push rods from the factory. Like, have weak push rods. Uh, which would make sense because I was complaining about a valve noise for weeks. And they kept pushing it off and telling me, nope, it's not a valve noise. It's not a valve noise. Uh, well, it comes out it was a stuck valve. So, between the CP4 pump, the oiling issue at startup, and then the push rod. Hold on, let me take him out. I'll be right back. So, this truck is just a total nightmare. Um, honestly, I don't think it should be on the road. I think they should buy every one of them back and, you know, give us what we paid and make us whole. Uh, but they're not going to. Um, you know, it cost me $15,000 to learn this lesson about Cummins. Um, so, that, that's neither here nor there. But uh, finally, after three months, two and a half, three months, something like that, um, the truck is fixed you know i um i'm done with the truck i don't own the truck i don't i won't be running the truck um and you'll be seeing it running around but it's not my truck um i've been bought out i'm done so i uh i own a big rigger i own a big rig and i own elvira that's it so if I had to do it again right now with my knowledge, or um, I was watching YouTube, like all of you are, I would not buy a new Ram. Now, if you are a diehard Ram guy, buy a fourth gen, or even a third gen. But I would recommend the fourth gen because of the numbers. Um, so, I would not buy, you know, a 5th gen Ram. But now, while we're talking about the trucks, if you go back and you look at the history of the 5500, it's essentially always been a troubled truck. Um, you know, and they work out the kinks a couple years in, and then they bring something up, and then it's an issue. Now, that truck, the 5500, has less torque, less horsepower than a Ram 55 with a set of 35 because they are detuned from the factory and I personally believe um, now this is just my opinion and you know that's it I'm sure my boy Haven's going to come in here and drop some, some crazy knowledge but um, I think the detuning may be part of the issue uh, because they want to build it for longevity You know what I mean? So they, they don't want... They're not going to put a truck out there all turned up like that. So, the uh, the new Ram 5500 is not a good truck for hot shotting or car hauling. Um, you know, just not at all. 
it's a localist truck, you know, it's, um, it's good for, like, doing, you know, little construction stuff around the house, or maybe pulling a cattle trailer every now and then, or maybe even a three car, just not the way we do it, so, Ram has really let me down, um, hurt my business, cost me a lot of money, and just don't care. You know, I, I took a bath on that truck, but that is the importance of buying the truck correctly, you know, because I was able to get out of it because I bought it correctly, you know what I mean? Um, like, if I didn't buy it that way, put the money down and the big payments short term, I'd be stuck right now. There's a lot of guys that are stuck right now, unfortunately. So, um, guys, if you're looking for a new truck, never thought these words would come out of my mouth. But if you have to have a pickup truck, look at the 550. Don't look at the 5500. Look for the 550. Um, but if you're going to buy a 550, then you need to um, get an extra, get a aftermarket pack brake on it the load leash so the truck as I said is fixed it's running they put a new uh, it's got a new motor uh, they've broken like three sensors in the process so that was part of the hold up um, had to cut the torque converter out um, so that was a hold up now these uh, and I talked to a mechanic the other day and I made him a I called him a mechanic and he got upset with me he said no I'm a technician I work with the computers okay so God forbid that they had to diagnose a truck that doesn't have a computer we need a computer but anyway uh, that's enough of my rambling and out of orderness on the Ram 5500 so you will not be hearing anything else about that truck. That truck is gone. Uh, but that truck is quote unquote fixed. I wouldn't hold my breath, but we'll see. Um, you know, the truck's still kind of close, so I, I may talk about it later, but I doubt it. Um, but anyway, so if you guys are gonna get into this, as I've always said, make sure you're scalable. A Ram 5500 is not scalable at the level you need so guys if you need a ram run away you need a pickup run to the ford dealer or buy a semi i highly recommend old semi but that's just me so um hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it's what you're looking for until next time like share subscribe hit that ding ding face